So here we have the Ford S-Max Vignale, which is on a 66 plate. It's got an automatic gearbox as well. Uh, we'll start off around the outside of the car and then uh, we'll jump in and I can show you some of the many features on the inside. Uh, but from the outside, you can see we've got those chrome style alloy wheels, five doors and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So the tailgate on this car will open electronically. You can do that in one of three different ways. So you can press the button on the tailgate itself. You can wave your foot underneath the rear uh, bumper right in the center area uh, and that will open up the tailgate as well. So that's useful if you're carrying a box, for example, and both your hands are uh, tied up. Uh, there's a video showing how that works on our website and on our Facebook page, or you can do it by double pushing the button on the bottom of that key. As we approach the boot, you'll see we have reversing sensors. This car's also got a reversing camera. Currently, all seven seats are in place. So this is the amount of space you have as a seven-seater. Uh, all of the seats will fold down very cleverly, electronically from here. So you can push the button, that seat will fold down. Same with the other side. And we can even, if you need the extra space, fold down all three of those seats electronically as well. And as you can see, you can get masses of space if you do that. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car now, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You have these lovely quilted leather seats. Uh, the driver's seat is 10-way electronically adjustable and has three different memory settings. There's loads to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. So now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle, you can see the total miles for the car are 27,718. Below that, it shows what gear this car is currently in. Uh, we've got two bits of information we can change on the steering wheel. So on the left-hand side, you can see uh, we've got these various menus here, so we can have a trip computer in that section. In the central section, we can change the menus again so that we've got entertainment, navigation, a phone menu, and a digital readout for the speedometer as well. So you can leave it on any of those combination of menus that you want to. Uh, the adjustments I was making to those menus were with these buttons for the left-hand side one and these for that central one just there. Also on the left-hand side, we've got cruise control and speed limiter. And on the right-hand side, we have stereo controls as well as voice activation for the phone just there. So hit that button, ask it to dial anyone in your contact list and it can do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is a course once you've paired up your phone and that is done on the central touchscreen just here. So you hit add device. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. And then just follow those instructions on screen. It's very easy to do. We can go back a step from there. Uh, when it comes to music in this car, there's plenty of ways to listen to that. We have AM, FM and DAB radio, as you can see. We've also got a CD player. We can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. And on top of that, we've got two separate USB inputs. So if you plug devices into those, you'll have extra boxes appear up here, uh, giving you the option to use those as well. If we go back to the home screen. We've got satellite navigation. There's a full video showing exactly how this works on both our website and on our Facebook page, uh, which is well worth checking out. You can also make adjustments to the climate control up here. You can put the heated steering wheel on, heated seats. You can make adjustments to the passenger one and the driver one from up here, as well as using the buttons uh, below this section, which we're coming to now. Uh, so we've got the CD player next, the main volume there for the stereo. And then underneath that, we've got the uh, manual controls for the climate control. So you can adjust the temperature within the car on the driver's side, the passenger side, the fan speed can be adjusted upwards or downwards from there. And you can adjust your heated seat. So you've got three different heat settings per side. And as I said, you can adjust that up on the main display as well. The other thing you have on the main display is a full color reversing camera, which you can see just there. Uh, so it's a full color Im image with guidelines on the uh, ground there, just showing you what direction the car is headed in relation to the image that you see behind you there. Below the climate control, we have this little cubby hole section opens up. We've got a 12 volt charging socket and the two USB inputs that I mentioned previously. The fully automatic gearbox, electronic handbrake, and then finally we have these three buttons here. So that one turns off the uh, parking sensors at the front of the car, or turns them on again. That turns off the stop and start. So this car's designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. You can turn that system off from there. 
and this one is for the autonomous parking so up on the screen you can see uh, that this car can parallel park it can also perpendicular park for you so it does all the steering and leaves you to control the gears the accelerator and the brake but it tells you what to do and when to do it uh, we've got a couple of videos on our website uh, for this system uh, which are well worth checking out the last thing I wanted to mention is the panoramic glass roof on this car there's a button just up here push that and this sun blind will open all the way to the front of the car it lets in a huge amount of light and uh, definitely seems to increase the cabin space as well all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive please feel free to call any of our mja sites 